Good day everyone. Let's calculate the determinant of this matrix B and see what's going on with it. We have to multiply along this line, this blue line. So we'll have 3 multiplied by 2. Then we have to subtract. And then we have to multiply along this blue line. So we have 1 times 6. That's what we get. 3 2s are 6. Subtract 1 6 is 6, and we get 0. So our determinant is 0. Right? Now the question asks if, if B has an inverse. And let's see if B can have an inverse. So B inverse will be 1 over the determinant of B times the adjoint of B. UDJ for short, and that will be equal to 1 over 0 because the determinant is 0. So 1 over 0 times the adjoint of B. Okay, now 1 over 0, if you go to your calculators and try to divide 1 by 0, We'll find out that this is undefined. There is no answer for this in mathematics. Okay? So, therefore, the answer is no. Okay? B has no inverse. Okay? And one further note, B is called a singular matrix. So a singular matrix has no inverse because its determinant is zero. All right. So let's see number two now. We are given two matrices here. And we are told that there are singular matrices. Okay, so we have matrix N and matrix M. So what does that mean? It means the determinant of N is equal to zero because it is a singular matrix. So let's multiply along this line and find the determinant. 2x multiplied by 1. All right, so 2x multiplied by 1, subtract, 3 multiplied by 4, all right, so we have 3 by 4, that should be equal to 0, so 2x times 1 is 2x, subtract 3, 4 is at 12, is equal to 0, let's solve this equation, Right, add in 12 to both sides, we get 2x is equal to 12. And divide in both sides by 2, we get x is equal to 12 over 2. Alright, let's cancel. 2 into 2, 1. 2 into 12, 6. The answer is 6 over 1 is 6. Okay, so the answer for part 1 the 6. So let's move on to part 2 now. Deal with the M. So we have M is equal to 9, X, 6, and 10. Let's follow the same procedure. It is singular. So the determinant of M is equal to 0. Alright, let's multiply along this line. 9 times 10. Subtract. Now let's multiply along this line. 6 times x. Equals 0. Look at the brackets. 9 times are 90. Subtract 6 by x is 6x. That's equal to 0. Subtract 90 from both sides. We get negative 6x. 
equal minus 90. Divide both sides by negative 6, we get x equals 9, negative 90, all over negative 6. Put your calculators, you'll see 6 into 90 is 15, 1, 5. Okay? And a negative divided by a negative is a positive. So we have worked out our problems, and I hope you understood what was taught. Thanks for watching.